Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, February 16, 2022. Here's an update on our 1948 18-foot Century Sea Maid. As you can see, she's well on her way to having her new True 5200 bottom installed. And I'll hand it over to Joe to talk about where he is now and uh, where he'll be going. Yeah, so right now I'm using our Monster Fest Tool Orbital and I'm right, getting all of our, my lines on here and this will break it down a lot faster but once I get it fairly close and then I'll switch over to our Hutchins Longboard Sander and flat board the bottom of the boat so that way you won't get any imperfections it will look true and flat. So the orbital I start off with between 40 and 60 grit and then once I'm done with that I switch over to the longboard and I do that with 80 grit. And then it will be able to get our smiths uh, and we'll be able to put our 3M in all of our counter sinks to finish our fairing process. Yep. And we use 3M Marine Premium Filler for this purpose. Uh, we've been using it for over a decade and had nothing but great results with it. Uh, it dries and cures hard. Uh, once it's cured, Joe will go through and sand it again so that we have everything absolutely flat. And then we will apply another dose of Smith's Premium, uh, excuse me, Smith's Clear Penetrating Epoxy Sealer. Once that's cured, we will apply five coats of Interlux 2000E barrier coat, and that's five coats. Don't scrimp and do two or three. You're just wasting your money. Once there are five coats uh, applied, you have an approximately 10 mil uh, film thickness, and that barrier coat has the advantage of creating an absolute barrier to moisture infiltration, which we've learned from Don Dannenberg uh, also means that none of these planks will expand or contract uh, in the face of moisture. We have a few little Dutchmen to apply here or there. Um, the transom planks were rotted and had to be replaced and they're now ready for sanding and filling with the uh, sealer. And once that's done and we've applied the 2000E, we'll finish the bottom off with three coats of Pettit Hard Racing Bronze bottom paint. And then we'll flip her over, bleach her top sides and transom stain it with uh, Mike Mayer's gel stain and then she should be ready to go home. We'll keep you up to date as we make progress on our 1948 18 foot Century Sea Maid. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.